Good morning, everybody, and another wonderful and happy Tuesday to all of you. I'm Holly Power here, hosting for Timely, just making sure that I can see us live so I can come and see who's with us and answer any of your questions. Now, today we have a slightly different Timely Live for you. And as we continue to deliver wellness themed content, this morning's live celebrates that on an even deeper level. Now, Aromatherapy Associates was founded in 1985, a brand dedicated to bringing the positive effects of essential oils on our physical and emotional well-being to a wider audience and this morning we welcome Amy Bonfield who's the education and business manager for Aromatherapy, Aromatherapy Associates to <laughs> our platform. She has kindly agreed to join me this morning to help our audience unlock the secrets of how aromatherapy can help us through this odd time, help us move forward in our goals and to look after our clients in the most positive way possible. We'll be touching on breathing, mindfulness, wellness and how that looks right now, the importance <laughs> of sleep and there will be very, very special giveaway too. So good morning and welcome, Amy. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, thank you so much for having me, Holly. <laughs> very welcome. Power of aromatherapy. Yes, exactly. I'm just uh, making sure I can see it because, you know, Facebook likes to change everything all the time and they like to make it challenging for me to be able to see our own lives. So um, let's see if I can see it on my screen. I am glad you're doing the technical side of it, Holly, <laughs> and not me this morning. It just, it decides to just sort of go, well, let's change everything. That would be fun. Let's, uh, let's just take totally, the uh, change where you find anything. Exactly. So uh, there we are. And I can see us live. Wonderful. Live, amazing. There we are. Fabulous. Oh, lots of people with us. Morning, Christine. Morning, Hayley. Uh, lots and lots of people um, with us this morning. So um, Amy and I are just going to talk a little bit more on the wellness side today. We're going to reflect a little bit over the industry over the last 12 months because we've now hit that 12 month uh, date where we've had to close and we've been you know intermittently open you know that that sort of dreaded day where everything changed um, but it's important to reflect on the positives and also look forward to the positives moving forward as well because there's lots and lots to look forward to and there's lots of exciting changes that we can tap into at the moment so how do you look back over the last 12 months Amy how would you sort of perceive we've changed as an industry well, yeah, the industry has definitely, definitely changed the way that clients look at our industry. And I know we touched on this um, before we went on the call, Holly, didn't we? You know, the way that even at every lockdown, you know, clients have really changed what they what they're wanting. You know, when spas reopen, you know, the first lockdown, everybody was like, I need to get my nails done. I need to get my eyebrows done. Look at my eyebrows. You know, I need to go in and get my hair cut. But now people have really started to focus more on their own well-being and see that actually well-being is something that is just as important as you know what we look like our eyebrows having our waxing and things like that done and you know there's been a huge increase in people looking after their own self-care you know during lockdown I've seen some of our spa partners which have been absolutely amazing creating you know little self-care packs for um, their clients to be doing you know whilst in lockdown and you know there's been so much more on social media so many masterclasses on well-being on self-care that um yeah I think this time around people are more looking for those massage treatments people are missing that that power of that touch aren't they that they get from the therapist you know and actually the um from the spa business trends report that has recently come out the first trend is touch hunger that's what people are wanting the most you know they're, they're realizing that you know there's more to the beauty industry than having your nails done than having your eyebrows done you know there's so many benefits of actually spending an hour you know 60 minutes 90 minutes actually having a massage treatment you know and we all know that massage can help with tension can help with circulation but also you know with that just that that touch that we've we've missed you know yeah. from every aspect in our lives you know we're not even able to hug our loved ones are we so you know that that touch hunger is something that people are really craving so which is amazing for the industry isn't it we want people coming in for those massage treatments for those facial treatments you know um 
I'm sure most spas that are on this call today will agree that, you know, a lot of the massage treatments, they're coming in because of muscle pain. They're not actually coming in for that, for that touch side of it, or they're having a massage because it's their birthday and they got a voucher or, you know, it's um, a special occasion. It's an anniversary, but people are definitely looking more for those, those massage treatments to actually help with their well-being rather than it just being a, a massage as a treat. You know, they're seeing it more as it, as it has those physical and emotional benefits, which aromatherapy, you know, add aromatherapy oils in there as well. And you're going to get that even more of those benefits. Absolutely. I think um, maybe a year ago, the word wellness didn't have quite the, the strength that it has now. And like you say, it's certainly reflected. In, and as you mentioned on, on our uh, conversation earlier, you know, you can practice self-care as much as you like. You know, it's brilliant to do that and integrate it into your daily routine. But actually handing over that to somebody else to actually look after you is something I think we've really, really missed and we're really craving, aren't we? And um, as I mentioned to you earlier, of course, when we spoke to um, to a friend over in Melbourne uh, about, I think it was two or three weeks ago when we did a timely live um, and she's actually out in a spa there. She, uh, she was outlining exactly how it, the, the climate look there people are coming out and having these nourishing body treatments um they are they want that touch they want that one-to-one -one experience and they want to be looked after i mean we've we've um we're like you know well-being is at the heart of aromatherapy associates anybody that knows our brand you know our founders were um, holistic therapists, you know, holistic therapists, aromatherapists, they looked at everything to do with their clients, you know, not just the concerns that they were coming in for, but their whole well-being. So at the, st at the start of the first lockdown, we actually looked at our treatment menu offering that we give to our spas and looked at what clients' needs are, because obviously people's need states have really changed during this time, you know, the COVID-19, you know, people are a lot, a lot more stressed, you know, that our routines have changed, people are worried about their job, you know, we saw our inner strength blend, you know, uh, we saw a raise in sales on that, sleep has really been affected, you know, people have wanted to reconnect with nature more, because we had that stripped from us as well, didn't we, you know, only allowed to be outside for certain amounts of time, you know, being outside, you know, re reconnecting with nature can really help with our well-being, so we actually looked at our treatment offering and we created a reset menu to really tailor what our clients are going to be wanting you know so we have one that helps the clients reconnect with nature with our forest therapy blend we have one for people that want a bit of an immunity boost you know because for obvious reasons for people that want that that inner strength and that resilience you know people that have found it hard to go through a tough time so it's it's had a knock-on effect of what treatments our spa partners are going to be offering as well you know so yeah your 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 um your friend in melbourne who you talked to is absolutely right people are you know looking for that specific treatment that is going to help with that well-being concern yeah definitely yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I love how you talk about how you've pulled in all the different aspects of all the, the different elements that we've been missing in our lives, because of course our, our lives have shifted majorly and we're experiencing something totally different we've not experienced before. And we all have to get comfortable with those changes now and look at how we can bring those into our lives. And um, for the benefit of anybody, I'm gonna put you a little bit on the spot now, um, for the benefit of anybody that um, is watching and isn't really entirely sure what aromatherapy actually is, can you give us just a little bit of an overview, a little bit of a background of what yeah, that means? Yeah, yeah, sure, absolutely. So a lot of people think that aromatherapy is only accessed in a spa. You know, a lot of times when I say to people, what, what do you think aromatherapy is? They say, well, it's, like a bit of a hippie treatment that you would have in a spa, you know, that actually aromatherapy can be used in your day-to-day -day routine. You know, aromatherapy itself is actually the use of essential oils. And these essential oils come from all different um, plant types in nature. So from roots, seeds, um, trees, you know, flowers, fruits, you know, essential oils come from there. And the essential oils are actually... Um, I like to think of them as like the immune system of that, that plant material. So right. they're there to protect the plant against viruses, bacteria, and lots of other aggressors. And when we actually extract the essential oils from these plants and use them in our aromatherapy products, 
they can have the same benefits for us. And we use hundreds and hundreds of different essential oils, you know, because di different essential oils will have different emotional and physical benefits. So we've got lots of different blends that can um, help with different um, well-being concerns, you know, sleep, stress, energizing, lots and lots of different things. And um, yeah, so aromatherapy can be accessed just from diffusing essential oils, just from lighting a candle, from using a facial oil, you know, from using an exfoliator that's got essential oils in or using bath and shower oils. So, yeah, aromatherapy basically is working on bringing you back to balance by using those essential oils, bringing you back both physically and emotionally to your best self and can be used as much or as little and, of course, can be accessed in a spa treatment, but can also be used in your day to day, which is something we really encourage, you know, as a brand and our spa partners encourage as well, because we know you can go for that treatment, you can have that treatment once a month, but you really want to make sure that you're continuing the benefits of those treatments by using the same blend at home as what you had in your treatment. And um, aromatherapy can work like that because one of the ways it works is on the sense of smell. So say, for instance, you've had our relax and sleep treatment in a spa and you use our deep relax blend at home, that sense of smell, when you smell an essential oil or, or a blend, it goes through our olfactory system and into our limbic system in, in a deep part of the brain. And our limbic system is where our memories are um, created, stored and recalled. So when you smell something, it can remind you of something. You know, how often, Holly, have you smelt something and said, oh yeah, that reminds me of, you know, it could be a person, it could be a holiday, it could be a place. Absolutely. And then it triggers that emotion of how you felt. So Absolutely. by using the same blend at home as what you've had in a spa treatment, it's going to transform you back to how you felt when you was having that treatment in the spa. And obviously all of those um, benefits of the essential oils, you know, those particular benefits as well. So we really encourage as a, as a brand, you know, and all of our, our therapists and our, and our spas always, you know, really encourage our clients to be using that at home as part of their, as part of their wellbeing. So it's all really integrated. Definitely. Much like you would if you were to deliver a facial on somebody and you wanted them to boost the results of their facial by continuing to use the, the retail at home products. I mean, it all Absolutely. works in conjunction with that intensified version and experience within the spa. And then you maintain it from home and keep working on building up that that experience in your home life as well. So it's very, very powerful. You touched yeah. on um, stress as well and, and you know, how um, aromatherapy can help balance that and I know you like to talk about breathing as well when we talk about stress yeah. and how we balance ourselves would you be so kind as to share maybe like a, a breathing exercise with us so we can we can walk away with that and give that a try ourselves today yeah of course a, a great breathing exercise for stress and also for also works really well for disturbed um, sleep as well which is a massive problem for people at the moment but this breathing exercise that I'm gonna um, do with you guys today is really good for if you just need to take a moment out of your day you know when things are getting a little bit too much or if you yeah. suffer with any sort of anxiety and you know we're sort of thinking about what has happened what could happen or we're just feeling quite quite stressed this is a great breathing exercise just to sort of bring you back into the present moment because when we're feeling quite stressed we take short shallow breaths don't we you know we, we start to get really sort of anxious and take those short shallow breaths and when we breathe like that it sends a signal to our brain that we're stressed and our body will create more stress hormone the cortisol hormone but actually when we take some nice deep like diaphragmatic breaths that's how we breathe when we're relaxed isn't it you know when you're going to sleep you know you're taking those deeper those deeper breaths if you're in a spa having a treatment you can see your clients sort of taking those those deeper breaths so by doing a breathing exercise we're almost forcing ourselves to breathe in that way triggering to the brain that we need to relax that we need to calm down and what it actually does is it as it stimulates the vagus nerve which um puts our body into rest and repair mode so breathing exercises are really really powerful but anyway I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm going on a little bit but um, no, no, it's, so, it's so interesting Amy it really is and, and I think this is fascinating for people because it just shows the the sheer power we have to control how we're feeling to control those stresses in our body to to trigger um us you know our parasympathetic and our sympathetic systems yeah, and yeah. all of this 
in order to to get ourselves back into that space that we want to be and now it's so prevalent and I think maybe a lot of people dismissed some of these concepts a year ago or so they were sort of like oh I don't need that and I'm not stressed and I'm good but actually we're all experiencing the news every day other people's opinions opinions on this opinions on that and it can change how we feel and if we can just learn to recontrol what's going on yeah. in our own world and not worry yeah. too much and appreciate we can't necessarily control what's happening outside of us right now but we can control this breathing yeah. is such a powerful way to do it isn't it it's a really really powerful way you know and like you said you know this breathing exercise really stimulates that vagus nerve which switches on our parasympathetic nervous system and when our parasympathetic nervous system is stimulated that's when we can rest and we can repair you know when we can relax so um this breathing exercise is actually really also good if you find that you have a busy mind and you find it difficult to just take those nice deep breaths because we can all take deep breaths but our minds can still wander you know or we can or some people find it quite difficult to do long periods of like meditation and breathing so this is a great one if you are feeling quite stressed and you want something to work quite quickly you can obviously um, increase the benefits of the breathing exercise by using essential oils as well working with that sense of smell I really like to use a rollerball when I'm doing um, a breathing exercise because it's just so simple to use and you can just take it you know out and about with you you could even be at your desk you know and just pop a little bit onto your wrist and do the breathing exercise but the one we're going to do today is called box breathing and the reason it's called box breathing really really easy to remember but if you imagine a box what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in for four counts we're going to hold the breath for four counts we're going to breathe out for four counts and then we're going to hold the breath for four counts so we'll do it together and then I will explain why it works so well because I always find that people realize how well it works by actually doing the exercise so I am going to pop a little bit of the rollerball on because I love to just enhance that enhance that I am going to use an energizing one today because it is only 10 30 in the morning I don't want to use anything that's too um relaxing but make sure that when you're doing a breathing exercise you're sitting nice and comfortably you know you don't want to be irritated by you know not feeling comfortable that your feet are nice and flat on the floor if you are at work or if you're in a like a busier environment try and take yourself away somewhere that's a little bit quieter as well to avoid any distractions and I always like to close my eyes or just lower my gaze while I'm doing that breathing exercise so I will talk everybody um, through it now. So please, um, please do join in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna breathe in, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four. Again, in, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four. One more time on your own. So you probably noticed that the reason why this particular exercise works so well on bringing you back to the present moment is that holding of our breath. You know, we, it makes you, by holding that breath in between, it makes you focus on the breathing exercise and nothing else because we, it's not something we would normally do. Normally, a lot of breathing exercise, you know, you're breathing in for a certain amount of counts, you're breathing out for a certain amount of counts, you know. And like I say, your mind can still wander, but because you're focusing on holding that breath as well, you're concentrating on that one, two, three, four, hold two, three, four, you know, so it's a really good exercise and it works very, very quickly um, to bring you back into that present moment. I particularly love this exercise if you wake up in the middle of the night, because what do we normally do when we wake up in the middle of the night? You grab your phone, you have a look on Instagram, or you're thinking about what, you know, what's going on the next day. Most of the times we have disturbed sleep is because our minds are very, very active. So by doing that exercise, by reaching for your rollerball, you know, rather than your phone, and by doing that exercise, just do it as many times 
as as you need to to sort of bring you back and to sort of switch your mind off what you're thinking about and as well if you're feeling quite stressed or anxious during the day just do it as many times as you need to just to bring you back into that present moment and just help with that deeper breathing as well because we know if we're feeling quite stressed or anxious you know our breathing is really really effective and we want to bring that breathing back to a normal rate definitely yeah it does and I think a lot of people probably really struggle to clear their minds don't they it's just the constant influx of everything what am I going to have for dinner I've got to walk the dog and pick kids up from school work stuff you know can I take a holiday can I do this what's going to happen so actually take that moment and like you say distract yourself with something that's benefiting you at the same time such a powerful process um, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about sleep, because I know you touched yeah. on sleep, that you're so passionate about the importance of sleep. So let's talk about that. And actually, at the end of this today, guys, you don't want to miss out because um, they are uh, or timely are going to be sharing three aromatherapy associates products with you guys today uh, and I'm going to tell you how you can win those at the end of this I'm even going to be entering because I really want to be in with a chance of winning one of these packs because they look really really lovely uh, and I'm yeah. sure Amy will kindly show us a little bit more about those but first let's talk about sleep and the importance of sleep and how that affects us yeah I mean sleep is really really important you know it is it is a vital physical need you know we need sleep just as much as we need water air and food you know and yeah. we know that when we've had a great night's sleep you wake up, you feel more alert, you feel like you can concentrate more, your motivation levels are higher, your mood is is so much better, you know, so sleep is something that is, is so important, but we don't always necessarily treat it as a like a priority you know when we're thinking about looking after ourselves Holly you, you, a lot of the time you think I'm going to eat really well today I'm going to drink lots of water and I'm going to do some exercise we don't necessarily think and I'm going to go to bed early and I'm going to make sure I get eight hours sleep you know and sleep is something that's just becoming even more of a, of a problem I read a report um, last week from the National Institute of Health and they said you know they was they was worried about the increase of in, in insomnia before COVID-19. You know, medical experts were worried about the effects that, you know, lack of sleep have on both our physical and emotional health. But COVID-19, you know, has created even more of a problem with people not being able to sleep. The stress, you know, of everything, you know, that, that busy mind that we talked about, you know, people are worrying so they're not sleeping. And we've just been completely shifted out of our routines. You know, we do consultations um, through our website and I speak to lots and lots of different people and they just say, I just can't differentiate between working from home during the day and resting in the evening. You know, people are finding it really, really difficult to sleep. So um, we can help at Aromatherapy Associates. We do have a blend called Deep Relax. And actually it was our first blend that was ever created. Um, for us and it was created by one of our founders um Geraldine Howard actually while she was studying aromatherapy so way before you know aromatherapy associates and she was really suffering with insomnia and she was actually taking sleeping tablets for her insomnia and she got caught out by her tutor <laughs> and um, she got a bit of a slap on the wrist and her tutor said to her like what are you doing you know you're an aromatherapist you should make yourself a blend to help you sleep. And that's what she did, you know, and that's where Deep Relax came from. And it's been one of our best selling blends, you know, ever since it's won multiple awards. And it's one of those blends that people come back to us and say, you know, I could not live without this. And it's quite different to a lot of other sleep blends on the market, because most people, when they think sleep they think lavender now lavender is amazing it's an amazing essential oil you know it's great for its healing benefits it's great for its relaxation benefits but actually the key ingredient that we use in our sleep blend is vetiver one that's not talked about you know half as much but vetiver is um known for its sedating effects so it is really really powerful at sort of knocking you out and helping you get to sleep We've also got um, chamomile in there, which we know is super calming, you know, to the yeah. mind and the body and sandalwood, which is really, really grounding. So we have um, multiple products in our deep relax blend, obviously a blend that you're going to use in the evenings, unless you're a shift worker. It's also great, you know, for people that their circadian rhythm is all over the place because their shifts change, you know, sometimes they're going to bed when it's daylight, which is just not 
you know, is not in touch with our internal body clock. So great, great for that as well. You know, just for anybody that's having any sort of trouble sleeping. Um, this blend comes in a bath and shower oil. It also comes in a sleep mist, which is, a, which is you know, definitely one of those products. If you're looking at getting yourself something, sleep mist is a great entry into this blend. Um, just mist it onto your pillows, mist it onto your chest. To, you could even do it with that nice breathing exercise, you know, that I taught you. Comes in a rollable, also comes in a body butter as well. I know we're gonna talk through, through some of those products, but sleep really, you know, it's it's really about having a bedtime routine that I feel like that's the best the best thing for sleep you know just sort of prioritizing sleep changing some of those habits you know that are affecting your sleep like switching off your phone not taking your phone into the bedroom you know making sure that you do have a nice warm bath or warm shower before you go to bed you know you're using products that can help you get to sleep you know there's lots and lots of different things that we can really prioritize our sleep to help us get that that better night's sleep and mm. for those that are feeling quite stressed for those that are finding it hard to switch off definitely find like a mindful prep preparation that you can do before you go to sleep and it's it's so different for all of us isn't it you know because we all feel feel it in different days so I actually like to journal before I go to bed so I'll write all of my thoughts down it's like I'm physically putting all of my thoughts from the day on paper so I can clear my mind yeah some people like to read some people like to do yoga so definitely trying to include some sort of mindful practice you know before you go to sleep it could be that breathing exercise that we went to you you might find that listening to a podcast really helps you unwind you know so and just definitely for at the moment during this this pandemic try and have that time where you switch off from work because yeah. um a lot of people are finding that they're working into the evening you know they're finding it hard to, to stop because they're not going home from yeah, from work no you know so yeah. there's yeah. there's no break so that's eating into their their wind down eating into their evening so definitely finding you know what works for you but a routine but slot it into a routine that would be my advice on how to help with sleep absolutely I mean you think about how we were naturally as children and before sleep we'd like a story and we wanted to be taken to a different place and go on an adventure through a book or through a story with our parents or something to help us go to sleep we wanted to yeah. detach from that day reality before we, we sort of drifted off and uh, you know my niece she's always trying to stay up and fight sleep and everything and we're always yeah. trying to come up with interesting stories to tell her to help her sleep um, and it's so true um tell us Amy about the products that you uh, that you have that we will be giving away at the end of this call yeah so I'll go through do you want me to go through am I allowed to expose what the kit is yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to do a spoiler there no, Holly so I think these sound fabulous so oh uh, yeah so it's actually the moment of restful sleep which is going to be in the um, giveaway today which is if you're looking for a complete ritual to help you sleep then this is you know the, the the kit for you it's an amazing giveaway and it's got some of our really iconic um products from the deep relax collection in there with those um, key ingredients that I that I spoke about you know to really help you get a good night's sleep so the first um product in this kit is, is a candle so like I said at the start of the um start of the live you know you can really incorporate aromatherapy and benefit from aromatherapy simply by diffusing or lighting a candle and what that's doing is that's really creating a very very relaxing environment you know you could even take this into your into your bathroom with you you know to or even when you finish work light that candle change the way that your house smells you know really again working on that okay my house smells like this now it's time for me to stop work and it's time for me to relax you know so lighting a candle in the evenings really creating that really restful environment is really going to help um sort of put you into that that relaxation mode this candle i wish you could smell it um, it's got west indian bay um frankincense and myrrh in there it's really really beautiful um beautiful candle this one it's made from um 100 soy wax so it's um natural wax unbleached wick there as well and obviously you've got this lovely glass jar that you can use afterwards. So definitely the first thing to do is to create that relaxing environment in your home by lighting your little candle in your kit. 
Then next up in here, you have your Deep Relax Bath and Shower Oil. So anybody that knows anything about aromatherapy associates, these are the products that we're most, most famous for. They contain our highest concentration of those essential oils. So they've got up to 30% pure essential oil blend in there. So almost like your sleep treatment in a bottle, this one. And how you would use it is um, with this smaller bottle, you're gonna use two capsules and you're going to actually pour the capsules into your hands rather than pouring them into a running bath. And then what you're going to do is once you've poured the capsules into your hands, you're going to apply them directly to your torso. So onto your abdomen, lower back, up onto your chest and round to the backs of your shoulders. And the reason we say to apply the bath and shower oils rather than pouring them into the bath is another way that aromatherapy works is for absorption. So those essential oils will absorb into the body via the hair follicle and actually once they're in the body they can continue lasting for up to eight hours. So really helping you to get that full night's sleep. So I always encourage people to actually apply the product directly to your torso. Then before you get into the bath you're going to bring your hands up and just breathe in those essential oils. It's going to work on that inhalation and work on that sense of smell. Remember triggering those memories helping you to relax. You would then get into your bath and shower and if it's in a bath you know really sort of spend the time in the bath. Take sort of 20 minutes to relax in the bath. Then once you get out of the bath this is a product that I spoke about um, before. You've got your Deep Relax Sleep Mist in here as well. So this is a product I'd recommend you use every single night to trigger that reaction to help you get to sleep. So mist onto your pillow, onto your pajamas, and also onto your chest as well for that absorption. So slightly different to some other pillow sprays that are on the market, you know, where you can just only put them on your pillow. You can actually apply this directly to your um, chest as well. And then lastly, you have got one, a small size of our Deep Relax Body Butter in here as well. So a bit of a two-in-one product, great for nourishing the skin. You know, we've got um, Gota Cola oil and amaranth oil in there. So really keeping the skin nice and supple, keeping the skin nice and nourished. But you've also got that Deep Relax blend, so helping to send you to a great night's sleep. And if you don't want to pop it all over your body, you can just concentrate on those drier areas because it is more of a butter consistency, you know, hands, elbows, knees, sort of soles of the feet. And then with any aromatherapy product, don't forget to sort of breathe in those essential oils to work on that emotional level as well. So yeah, in that kit, you're going to get all um, four of those products. So really does, it's the kit to help you get a great night's sleep and encouraging that routine as well. Yeah, absolutely. Amazing, oh, yeah. amazing. I'm going to be getting one of these because these just sound, I, mean, I don't have any problems sleeping, but I, I love to, I'm very lucky, I sleep easy, but um, I still love to have that that lovely smell and, and everything around. I mean, I was just thinking about your rollerball and how I wish I had one at my desk. All I've got is like a glade spray that keeps pumping something out at me and it's uh, yeah. really not quite the same thing. So uh, so I'm gonna be having a look at your collection later today, definitely. And you guys watching all have the opportunity, of course, to win one of these packs courtesy of Timely. Very, very simple to enter. All you need to do is go to Instagram, go to the Timely page. You'll see a post all about it, winning one of three on there. And all you need to do is in the comments, tell them what you do to prepare for a restful night's sleep. And you will be in with a chance of winning one of three packs that Timely are going to be giving away. I'm going to go and enter myself now. Um, mm -hmm. and make sure you enter too. So on the Timely Instagram page and comment on the icon about this, about uh, what you do to prepare for a good night's sleep so good luck to everybody who enters uh, we're gonna have to end and wrap this up amy because we have just oh, wow. and it has been wonderful having you here and i think i can safely say that both i and the audience have learned a lot from you today so really appreciate your time and energy this morning it's been absolutely lovely having you here um don't forget we'll be back again next tuesday at 10 30 for another timely live with me holly power from Salmonology, mm -hmm. and we'll look forward to seeing you all again soon have a fabulous tuesday everybody uh, enjoy your day um and uh, we'll see you next week thanks for having me holly have a great day everybody thanks see amy you.